I keep finding short but interesting Wikipedia articles, so I decided to launch a series of mini videos where I present them. Buckminster Fuller was an American architect, systems theorist, author, designer, inventor and futurist. Wow, that's what I call a multilateral person. He wanted to build floating habitats with the help of giant geodesic spheres. First of all, let's define this fancy word, geodesic. A geodesic sphere is a sphere made of triangles. An interesting property of these spheres is that they become stronger as they become bigger, due to how they distribute stress over their surfaces. Moreover, as a sphere becomes bigger, its volume grows much faster than its mass. Fuller suggested that the mass of the mile-wide geodesic sphere would be negligible compared to the mass of the air contained inside it. He suggested that if the air inside such a sphere was heated even by one degree higher than the ambient temperature of its surroundings, the sphere could start floating. Just like the hot air balloons. He calculated that such a sphere could lift a considerable mass. And if something floats high in the air and can lift a lot, why not building a city on it? Fuller proposed this idea as a solution to the following question, what would happen if a lot of people were to arrive on Earth soon and they would be in need of decent housing? The floating cities would be able to solve this problem. They could be anchored above inhabitable areas, like mountains. Furthermore, the spheres can be designed to be able to drift in the air. This would allow their population to see the world, and even migrate like birds. Now I'm not negative or something, but I see a lot of issues with these floating cities. What happens if the sphere is damaged and the air starts coming out of it? What if there is a fire? What if the wind starts blowing really hard? What if it gets hit by lighting? But all in all, I must say this is a pretty cool idea, thumbs up fuller. What do you think about these floating cities? Would you like to live in one of them? Write your thoughts in the comments below, I'll be more than happy to read them. And that's all for today, I'll see you next time folks.